Alright, what's up YouTube? This time I want to be teaching you how to make the Hello World program but look, make it look a little bit more like a screensaver. So now the first thing I want to do is I'm going to make a variable called Q and for now I'm just going to set it equal to negative 1. So now I'm going to do change this for loop and do while Q uh, is less than 0. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace this. I'm going to take z equals, or I'll, I'll change this z to x and y. Or I'll just make this all in one line. So x, y equals 0 and 0. And we're going to get change this to x and y. And now we're going to make... Um, direction so we're going to make new variables called we'll call them vertical equals one and horizontal equals one so this is going to be what we're doing and let's see oh wait this is backwards this is the one thing that's weird for me about curses is that y and x are always switched so now we're going to make uh, x plus equals vertical and y plus equals nah that's backwards whatever this is don't be dyslexic and crap okay moving on so vertical is equal to one horizontal is equal to one so this means for each tick it's going to be moving down and to the right but now we want to make it so that as soon as y becomes a certain value, it's going to switch so that horizontal is going to become negative. So if we're going to add statements, if y is equal to dims 0 minus 1, and keep in mind that because uh, just like lists do, uh, curses starts counting at 0. So that means the very last row down here is actually going to be 23, not 24. And then we're going to say vertical equals minus 1. And then we're also going to make it so that LFY equals 0. So this means that the hello world has gone back to the top. So we're going to say that vertical equals 1. Now we're going to do the same thing for uh, x. If x equals dims 1, I'm actually going to make it minus, and instead of typing, instead of figuring out how long this is, we could always just type minus the length of the string. Hello world. I'm going to forget that exclamation point. And then minus 1, I think. Actually, I'm not sure about that. You can test it. So actually I'm going to make this about 0.1 first, and then horizontal equals minus 1. And then we're going to do elif, which means if that's not true, but if this is true, x equals 0, then we're going to make horizontal equals 1 again. Now let's test it. Oop, I got my colon. There we go. Now it looks more like a screensaver. And it's bouncing up and down, and it looks awesome. And now, oh, this is an endless loop. So I guess one way you can get out of here is to just push X, or you can just leave it on forever if you want it to be a screensaver. But what I actually wanted to show you was um, we can make. Uh, Q equal to screen dot get ch. But the problem with this is now we have to click a key. Oops. Oh, it won't even accept that. So what we have to do is we have to set uh, no delay on screen dot no delay. So this means that if it's not going to do anything, then this queue means 
is going to be equal to whatever action we give it. And if we don't give it an action, it's just going to default to negative 1, which we already have it set to right here. Ah, oh, come on. Oh, that's why. Uh, let's set no delay to true. And then... There we go. So now it should run, and as soon as we hit a character, we exit. And this is because we set the while loop to make sure that Q is less than zero. And then um, if you hit any key, then that's going to return a positive value. And um, yeah, so now you can enjoy your new Hello World screensaver. And until next time, this has been Python Curses Tutorials. See you around.